Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Basilius in Europa Universalis 4. All right, we're gonna actually like win this war and like, you know, like not make mistakes and stuff. We have a good siege leader here. Five siege pip leader. That's pretty good. We are about to lose one of my favorite bonuses in the game uh, because it's bugged, which is the uh, blockade impact on siege plus one. I love that. Uh, to reiterate again why I love it so much, phase progress modifier from being not blockaded is positive one. Even though it's an inland province, yes, I love that. Plus one siege pip against every inland fort. It's a pretty damn good age modifier. But we move into the age of absolutism soon, which will be nice. Potential for a large army. Uh, that's about four summoner or whatever, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't actually been that late into a game before, so we'll figure it out when we get there. Change this to Denmark. Transfer, transfer, transfer. We'll occupy Stolp. We'll again keep these armies adjacent to each other, or close enough to each other. This army is, I think, strong enough to just be sitting in Trenson on its own. And then we've got this army that's kind of waiting on Circassia. I don't know if I really want to spend 10 favors just to, to take Circassia, but I kind of don't want to wait a year for my mission. So, it would be great if Russia would just, you know, stop blocking me from doing stuff. That would be nice of him. Let's see. Um, we'll need a new claim on the Mamluks, so we'll start spying on him. We will need probably something better than just improving relations with Naples. Get that occupied stolp going, and then... Wasn't the whole point of this war to, like, teach Poland who's boss, and now here they are, like, like beating me in combat and stuff? We need to, we need to write that, that score. That needs to happen. Where is this army going? They were the one I sent up to there. Alright, go to there. Go to, straight to his capital, damn it. We also need to consider paying attention to Mr. France Man. Let's just send... I really don't want to split this army. This is a, a template, I believe. Is it time to switch over to pure infantry yet? These guys have an average of 3.5 divided by 2, so 1.75. No, Caver's still really, really good. No, we can't afford to do that. If anything, we should probably be running more Cav. Claim on Yemen? I already have a claim on Yemen. Okay, so we need a little bit more. You guys remember back in the day when we used to be allowed to have rivals and stuff? That was fun, right? I remember those days. Who can we fabricate on? I feel like the game is running really slow. If that's better. We could try to get another claim on Madrid Bari. Are there any more estuaries in the snow that I need? We could use more of the Ethiopia node. Again, Yemen. Naturally, it's Yemen. We could take Angat to get closer to that province of Gondor. Let's see how spying his, this guy. This is the point in the game where I know a lot of people really like to have a like, religious idea group so that they can do wars without having to have claims. I feel like you get the imperialism CB so soon though that it's not worth waiting for. Imperialism comes in, I think it's Tech 23. I mean, granted, that's that's pretty far away, but... I think average is like 13, 14 years per technology, so 13 times, say, 6 years. 6 techs, it's about another 78 years. There's still so much time. Imperialism is pretty awesome. Mamluks, of course, are blocking me from spying because they're rude. We're doing that integration. Five per month. Could be better. Wow. Dude, Constantinos Pelagalos or whatever is uh, turning out to be not the best. Embezzler, babbling buffoon. I think it's about time for you to die, man. Maybe we even kill him. What do we lose for that again? It is too cowardly. Well, could you just tell me what it would cost, though? Like, that's still relevant, I think. Is this one of the new songs? I think it's one of the new songs, even though I'm not playing on the new patch. That is not what I'm looking for. Yeah, we're hearing- we're listening to the Alba song, even though I've rolled back the patch, because I have the DLC. It's cool. Really getting excited about playing the next campaign, by the way. In the new patch. He's from Poland. You don't have enough money to let me get the institutions, so no. I'll just keep sieging your stuff up here while we wait for our bigger armies to arrive.
and I want to show you who's boss. That's the whole point of this war. So, what tech are you on? 16 to my 17. Um, tell you what, we're going to combine this army, and then we're just going to go kill that thing. I want to win a couple big battles. I feel like, you know, Poland rented troops to someone. I don't remember who. Hungary, Lithuania, just to somebody. And it, I don't like it. I don't like that kind of behavior. He needs to understand that that is not acceptable. We need Ziela and Aiden. Aiden's worth more. We fabricate on Aiden. It is actually their capital. Uh, all right, we'll fabricate on Ziela. Oh man, so yeah, big changes, right? In uh, in the next patch, you actually can't take a huge amount of gold from enemies, which is sort of weird. In one war, that is. Like, you can, you can, but... I don't know, they're, they're kind of forcing the player to, like, do less... Uh, money hoarding from sub... Like, like what you could do, for example, if we just look in the ledger, look who has cash. We could just go and attack Holland for 1,300 ducats, and they don't like that you can you can do that. That you can take so much cash from somebody. Mantua has 2,000 ducats. Can we go to war with Mantua, please? And Mantua basically became Milan, but still. We could use... Sienna's claims on them, and then not actually take any land. He's allied to Austria. So if we declare a war on Austria, we can separate peace Mantua for a big, big payday. That would be pretty solid. Same thing probably with Savoy. So he, <laughs> this is exactly what they don't want you to do. It's just like, oh, who can I milk? Who can I take money from? Well, all of the peoples, obviously. Looks like Naples' army is not up to snuff when it comes to fighting the Poles. I apparently am getting blocked by random forts, so we're going to have to focus on... I don't know. It's blocking these stupid things. What's going on here? Why can we not just go straight there? Oh, probably just already locked in that movement. Why do you, why you gotta be that way, man? Why, why, why? Why you gotta be that way? Still can't make it in time. Be out on the 10th. Fine. Just, just kill it. Feel good about yourself. You're such a jerk. Why you gotta be that way? You wanna be that way? I'm gonna take your capital again. The issue is obviously that I just didn't show up with enough gusto. Didn't bring enough dudes over. Like, show them that I mean business. Alright, we can come back from where? God, I hate counter espionage so much. It's such a stupid mechanic. It really is. I don't like it. Therefore, it must be bad, right? That's how the math works, I think. It checks out. Can we at least get a lead. Ah, oh, nice disease, disease outbreak. Can we get a leader on that siege, please? Here we have the five cannons, right? No, we don't have enough cannons there. Um, okay, let's pull... Army on the left, directly under that. Did you stop sieging my stuff? You're so annoying. I'm gonna kill this army. That, that's all I really want. I just want to stack up a few armies. Show the poles who's boss. We can call it good. Look at this bastard having more morale than me. And better discipline than me. And better tactics than me. And better combat ability than me. In every way. His army is like suddenly becoming scary. I don't like this. Let's kill the Poles. <laughs> Please don't quote me on that. Um, uh, World War II was a heinous mistake on the ac action. You know, the Germans were bad. But that all being said, let's murder every single Polish person on the planet. In the game. In the context of the game. Obviously. Uh, it'd be so easy to just take my, my words and cut out the little bit at the end. Murder the Poles! Murder the Poles! Yes! The Poles are dying! I'm so happy! Oh, that sounds bad. Alright, that was a pretty good find. That's good. That's good. Come back from the Mamluks for a moment. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I mean, these guys are actually getting kinda... kinda decent at fighting, so... Perhaps we should probably end the war. Get the heck out of this situation. Looks like Oman has gone to war. So, I want, um... Obviously, all the things. Looks like the game is, like, worried right now about maybe potential aggressive expansion or something, so it's not even clicking on those provinces for me. 
Uh, it's a good indicator. I, people have asked before, why do you use the suggest demands button? It doesn't. It doesn't put you in a position where you're going to have a collision. It just won't. So it doesn't like that that's happening. So it's kind of like a, a fair early warning. We can take all of his coastal stuff for Warmia. Actually, I don't think Warmia consider, is considered to be coastal. That's a sea or something. Little little bay of water. Can it be a bay? Does a bay have to be freshwater? I guess it's probably a sea. No, it's a lagoon. The Vistula Lagoon. Anyway, we take those four provinces. We smash his army. Uh, a little bit of aggressive expansion with people. We take some cash. Take some more reps. And uh, we go away. Sounds good. A little fun war against the Poles. Decent. Everyone come back. You here. I was going to call Russia in, but he waited too long on the favor. So now we have to find a new war. We're at peace. We can threaten war again. A bit. It needs to go away. I know I have too few rivals. We have the Medri Bahri Separatists in Asab. They're mad here because I am converting both of them. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Have these guys all march up to somewhere. I'm gonna... We're gonna do a thing where we combine our armies soon, I think. Russia, you wanna fight? I'll fight you. I'll fight you in real life. Truce of the Timurids, I think, is up. Nope. Yemen. No, we just did that. Orthodox Zealots have risen up in Valencia. I'm sure you can handle that. Let's have one of these stacks actually go to... Um, an adjacent province. Supply in general just needs to be higher. Area-based supply. Read my lips, paradox. Area-based supply limits. I am totally fine with... I am 100%... Here's... Here, okay. I should put this... I should write this down. This would be a good one. When your army is in a province that is not owned or controlled by you, you will be subjected to province-based supply limits. However... If you own and occupy, or occupy, a state, then it is subject to area-based force limits. Can you believe it? The soldiers of Moldavia could actually get food from Bender and Bessarabia. No way, that's crazy! And then you could have, like, you know, 150 force limit, not worry about this stupid attrition crap when you're sending armies around your own country. It would just be so much easier. I'm not asking for the game to become, you know, easy. It's just, it's just annoying, really. It's a tedious mechanic. You have to worry about these, this, this. That is exactly the problem. Like, I don't care enough. But it is costing me a lot of money to have to deal with the reinforcement. Last month we spent how much on reinforcement? Missionaries? No, that's not it. Um, army maintenance, 65 ducats. I guess the deal is that, like, you don't spend the reinforcement when they are just reinforcing back up to full again. But still, it's it's just dumb. It's dumb. You're spending manpower that you shouldn't have to spend. That's my complaint and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, um, Yemen. Truce. Who did we not have a truce with? There was someone. Is it Sind? I have a truce with Sind as well. I guess I don't really know. Forgotten. We have, I'm sure, a truce here. Yeah, I did these threatens recently. It was the Mamluks. That's what it was. Mecca. They won't give it to me. <laughs> okay. All right then. Uh, okay. Well, I need Becca, so you're gonna hand it over, like right now. Nicodemus Cesaritas is gonna siege your capital, and um, gain army professionalism at the cost of a lot of stuff. He's half price. He's military Dutch, so we can't promote him. Royal army is half price, and that's pretty good. Land force limit multiplier. Are we using that right now? Not even close. I kind of like the idea of the army professionalism still. Even though I'll probably never use it. General cost goes down. Um, on the other hand, we're trying to get this next institution, so let's just pass on that. That's going to be a big no. Oh, right. We're also going to vassalize Scotland while we had that extra relationship slot temporarily. So let's go ahead and just pick up an alliance with him. Doesn't want to do it because we're at war. God damn it. How am I already at war? Already at war. Oh, they already fired? They've already fired. Fired. Oh. Alright. We have military access down there now. This navy should probably head back home. Let's do here. I really feel like this province is just so much bigger than Constantinople. It's such a, like, a better province to be your capital. I like having a, a big amount of stuff. Space to click on. I converted something. Good. 
So we need to go siege Mecca, but we're going to get this capital first. We need top walk. Let's tell Sienna since he's nearby. That's his job. These armies don't need to wait for the boats. Let's just have them get going down there. Oh, that is such a good button. Oh, it's such a good button. I need to keep on that. I really do. The conform to template button pop-up is all I'm talking about. Nine armies do not match. That's fine. This army can head down to... Somewhere down there. we do another one? Oh, it's beautiful! It's just sick, man. I love it. Mamlux, why wouldn't you just give me the land? If you had just given me what I want my ass for, I wouldn't have to be murdering you right now. All I wanted was the triggered modifier for the missionary. And the, obviously I need the prestige, because, you know, I do. I need lots of prestige all the time. Finally! We're finally dead! Thank you. Actually, the babbling buffoon thing is really annoying. We have uh, rebels popping up in Thessaly. It's fine. Much longer on this age? Four whole months. Excellent. I'm excited to move in the age of absolutism. Do, 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 do. Iraq is feeling like they have liberty desire. Um, I think the issue with that is just that they lost the- we lost the royal marriage, probably. Which brought them up by five. Now they're disloyal, so they won't accept. Uh, let's just placate, because I want to keep, um... Why are we not diverting trade from that guy? Alright, we should probably consider doing something with this diplomat over the annual tick. It was Naples, I think, whose opinion I care about right now. Let's establish some royal marriages. A new Basilissa. She's okay. The, the last Basilissa was a Basilissa of the people. We liked her quite a bit. This Basilissa is maybe not as good. Iraq is now loyal. Let's get a royal marriage. Having lots of royal marriages increases the chances of getting uh, random events. There's a random event that you can get. It's like the uh, Take That Von Habsburg thing. If you have like five or six royal marriages, I think it is. So having them is good. Who else do we not have a royal marriage with yet? What do we have? We've got one, two, three, four royal marriages right now. We have no royal marriage with Siena. And Russia. Army organizer has died. Good time for a new one then. Um, six, six, fifteen. Again, I don't really need the military points, so I'm just going to stick with the cheapest military advisor for the moment. Granted, we could be doing other types of things, and we do have really, really low legitimacy right now because of uh, that weak air. Morale of armies, inspiring leader, the Basilius. Might not be a bad idea to consider going to, um... Doing some strength in government. What are we lacking right now for the legitimacy? The current effect is Diplo Rep. Income from vassals. Reduced max absolutism. Well, that's no good. Let's wait until the age starts, though, because I think clicking some buttons are going to be fine. All Greek provinces will receive plus two unrest. Gain a skill two national manpower guy. Okay. I guess we're going to hire that one then. In February. Can we win this war, please? Why aren't we done with this war? These guys don't need to come here anymore. I shall kill that. That's, uh, ooh. Insufficient support. Eh, it's still probably better just to have the extra troops fighting. Alright, there we go. Age of Absolutism it is. Uh, found trade companies. Multiple universities own at least five. Have a land force submit capable of at least 200 regiments. Absolutism up to 90. Be the emperor of China. Have at least five different promoted cultures. Be a part of the victorious side in the religious league war. All right. Well, I didn't do any of that, so we have none. We have exactly one splendor per month. What are the things we can do? 
Edict of Absolutism. Change rival cost minus 50%. How awful is that? We're never going to get any benefit from that. Port maintenance on border with rival. Awesome, because, you know, I have so many rivals. Autonomy change cooldown minus 50%. That's kind of cool. Harsh treatment cost. That one kind of goes hand in hand with the extra benefits from autonomy. Uh, absolutism, I remember that. Better administrative efficiency is good for core cost. Yearly absolutism plus one. That's probably going to be the first one we go for, right? Cool. Uh, our absolutism is at zero. Changes by 0.1 each year due to local nobility. Following actions affect absolutism in this age. Harsh treatment. Increasing stability. Decreasing autonomy will increase it by plus one per 20 development. Interesting. Clicking the strength in government button, which we're going to click a bunch right now because we are low on legitimacy anyway. Will help out. And what else? Um, we're not going to do any of the bad things. Cool. All right, gotta take a break here. I'll be back in the next episode where we will start working on getting our absolutism up to big, big numbers. It'll be fun. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon.